good people? How you doing? So, another find from over the weekend. Locally, Gumtree. This was £60. It is a Hona Arbor Series uh, Les Paul. Uh, I need a little bit of help. I think I've dated it to about 88, 1989 sort of era. If anybody can confirm. It's got like the book style headstock. These are Korean made and it is absolutely pristine. Uh, the only thing on it is just a little bit of aging on the uh, white pickups there. But yeah, this was from uh, a bloke called Paul. He's a nice bloke. Um, these were from a private estate that the blokes passed away. Um, and there's a lot of Japanese Les Pauls from the 70s that I'm going to have a look at that um, Paul's going to arrange for me so hopefully there'll be more to come but again this is a Hona Arbor Series from the late 80s so there's the neck plate uh, it don't really reveal a lot in terms of you know the year on the serial number but I'm pretty sure it's either an 88 or 89 for my humble research. It's a really nice guitar and I do like the, the way it, it's got the contour cut in it. The belly cut for the middle aged guitarist. But yeah, definitely a, a sweet guitar. So I will do a full review of this at some point and it does sound really good. Plays really nice. It's got the bolt on neck obviously, but I don't mind that at all. Uh, it's not got too bad a weight, so I'm not sure if it's plywood. It's got like a contoured body, you can see that there. And two really good um, humbuckers, cream binding around the edge of the body. I think I've actually answered my own question. I think it is actually plywood, I can see it under the paint there. See that? So I'm guessing it's a plywood body, but. Again, don't be put off by that. But the binding goes all around the the neck and the headstock. But it really is a minty fresh guitar, so I will do a review of this. So if you've had one of these before, I know they do strats and stuff, so obviously you'll know how good these are. And there's plenty of these about pretty cheap, so you can find a nice one for under a hundred pounds. And some of them have the, the block inlays instead of the the dot perloid style. But yeah, there's virtually no fretware for a 30 year old guitar, it is pristine. So that's my bargain of the weekend, £60, hopefully more to come. I know people have been commenting on the, the Japanese um, satellite. And I will be setting this up tomorrow because the strings have turned up. So I've got three sets of Deodario EXL 110s. I'm going to put a set on this, and uh, if anybody don't know, the action is mega high, so I'm going to need to put a shim in the neck. I'll give it a good setup. I'm going to, I'm actually going to take this pit guard off just to have a little looky see what's underneath. But this is a plywood body as well, some of his Japanese satellite. I believe it to be a mahogany neck. I'm not sure if anybody wants to confirm that. This is a three quarter. Short scale, 24 inch scale. So this will be tomorrow's video. I know we keep uh, delaying it, but the strings are here. And then after that, I will be putting some strings on the um, Epiphone Sheraton 2. So that's it, just a short video today. Just to let everybody know what I'm up to. And again, another sweet find. So one more look, that's a Hona Arbor Series, Korean made, I believe it to be 89 or 88, so if anybody can confirm that and let me know, that would be much appreciated. So uh, yeah, that's about it for now, just a quick video to keep you all in the loop. So thanks for watching, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the notification bell, so you stay up to date on all the new videos and all the existing subs. 
I know a lot of people have had problems with notifications not coming through, but if you check your notification settings and make sure they're turned on, you should be all good. So that's about it from the meat cave, and uh, I'll see you all soon. Peace out.